बॉन हेबर साइकिल नाउ बॉन हेबर साइकिल कम्स फ्रॉम योर थर्मोडाइनमिक्स यूनिट फ्रॉम योर पेपर वन नाउ व्हाई इज इट इंपॉर्टेंस द थिंग व्हाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज दैट बिफोर बॉन हेबर साइकिल देयर वाज सर्टेन टाइप्स ऑफ एनर्जीज व्हिच कैन नॉट बी कैलकुलेटेड एंड स्पेसिफिकली इन टर्म्स ऑफ बॉन हेबर साइकिल वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग अबाउट योर लेटेस्ट एन्थैल्पी व्हाई लेटेस्ट एन्थैल्पी इज इंपॉर्टेंट लेटेस्ट एन्थैल्पी इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ एवरी डिफरेंट सॉलिड crystallized in a different environment and that environment decide what type of interaction with uh, it is having for example if it's uh, crystallizing in an octahedral environment it will have octahedral splitting if it is crystallizing in a tetrahedral environment it will have tetrahedral splitting so you can use lattice energy and you can also relate it with your coordination chemistry but the thing is lattice enthalpy cannot be calculated simply by knowing the structure because it defines it because a lattice enthalpy is determined by the structure the arrangement how the overall structure is being formed what is the interaction that is having what are the impurities so before bond hever cycle no such thing ever existed so bond hever cycle is primarily based on two predefined notions it is based on it is based on two notions two notions or you can say important laws first one that is the first law of thermodynamics first law of thermodynamics that means the total energy in a system can never be created nor be lost it just can be transformed from one form to another 